So, welcome to the second lesson. Uh, so, uh, since I don't want to lose time on all the process, but I want to get the best out of it for you guys, so I use Splice to, to uh, get sounds into my music, sounds into my projects. It really within my creativity since the, the huge, huge variety of sounds. So, uh, yeah, as long as we have the kick and bass line, I just let it run. Uh, since we're working on this project called After Hours of mine, which is unreleased uh, yet, so you get a very, very, it's unreleased for now. So it's a very, very little taste you're getting. Uh, I picked this snare. very very crunchy I don't know if you can feel it but something is missing some lower frequencies so I found this one this clap that completes it perfectly processing so for this for this snare I use a very very gentle reverb and after the reverb I even shorten it with envelope shaper and I EQ it I cut everything below 400 and everything above 14k and this area frequencies I reduced let's say to 5 dB because I feel there is too much eyes and I want to leave room for the ayats and here goes the clap the clap is exactly the opposite of what I had with the snare it has more lows but less highs so I feel this is why it fits perfectly together my processing on on the clap is in the envelope another envelope shaper this is a this is a reverb I use just for for the brakes it's by Artoya it's it's such a dope one I recommend and this is the equalizer I cut anything below 400 and everything above 14k and here goes the Electribe Electribe such a dope plugin and if you have the, uh, the actual synthesizer even better this is Electribe R really really dope plug. but I already ex used it and exported some sound just very very gentle eyes that feels like a very 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 natural very natural sound very clean and I use another Electribe. These percussions are very metallic, very, very tight. The high frequencies of them are very crunchy. Sounds good all together. These are just close eyes running very very gently just to give more and more and more more power to the groove you probably can see I use a lot of electronics it's, it's, it's very high quality sound and other metallic percussions and this sound is the cherry on the cream this sound is amazing so what 
what I do with the processing. Every, every percussion I cut, I usually cut everything below the 400. And if, if it has some, some, something good and crunchy and metallic I like and at the eyes of the, of the loop, I usually leave and cut everything above 16, 16k hertz. Uh, the same here, here I, I made it a little bit less, less, more curvier, so I had, I can earn more from the low, but not too much, so I can get my, my lows too muddy, and here we have, I want to focus on this one, this one has this delay by Arturia, and Kennedy. it's very, very short, very, just, just, without and since it's since it's what's called top mostly is mostly high frequencies I cut everything most of the time above uh, below 600 or below 800 because no need to leave low even though here there is some some percussion but I don't feel it's necessary to my group I can still hear it just more quietly and here the same here I also use the same delay this is a magic and this the same no need to have effects it has width within stereo and, and it sounds good, everything sounds always, this is here, let's get rid of it, but yeah, here we have our groove, we, I feel we brought the best out of it, my idea, lesson two, let's move to lesson three. <laughs> 